Hi, my name is Fatem and I'm a student at Cal State East Bay majoring in computer science. I'm about to graduate and I thought it would be cool to start a YouTube series about the computer science program at my school. Pretty sure it's going to be helpful to all the current and future students to know exactly what they're walking into once they start taking CS classes. For a bachelor's degree at East Bay, you need to complete 70 units of CS courses. Out of these, 31 units is what's called the lower division classes. Transfer students know the same classes as the major prep coursework. Basically, all the CS classes we had to take at our community college before we transfer to a four-year school. And different schools have different requirements, but it's basically the same maths, sciences, introduction to computer science, or introduction to computer programming, those type of classes. Before I start talking about each class, I'm gonna say something, not to bring the mood down, but just to put it out there. Whether you're a university student or a community college student, when you're taking these classes, it's going to go one of the two ways for you. Either these are going to be the most difficult classes that you take in your life and it's actually going to change your mind about wanting to major in computer science, or these are going to be the most enjoyable classes in your life and you can't wait until you get to the higher up classes. I've seen both of those situations happen in my community college. I've seen people who change their intended major after taking a single class because they're like, this is not what I expected. I actually don't want to do this, so thank you. I'll go and do something else. Either way, let's look at these lower division classes one by one. I've actually prepared notes because I could talk for days about these classes, but I'm trying to stay brief, so. We can look at the math classes first because they're kind of like their own mini group already. We've got Calc 1, Calc 2, basically linear algebra and physics. Not much to say about that. We've got different flavors of math. Take these classes, have fun, have a good time. If you're wondering what's the point of a CS major knowing physics, well, what's the point of you taking general education classes? If taking arts and humanities is going to help make you into a better rounded person, then knowing some physics is also going to help you become a well better, like a well rounded person, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to say this though, this is not a bad deal. Some other schools, they make you take three full semesters of physics and they might ask you to take some chemistry or biology just because, you know, computer science, you gotta know science. Now for the CS classes, first we've got computer science one. This is going to be the pretty heavy coding class and you learn Python. You're gonna learn the basic things the programming language can offer you. That's like loops, if statements, functions. And depending on the instructor, you might have some homework assignments that are pretty cute games like a tic-tac-toe game or a rock paper scissor game. I think it's important to do well in this class because there's a real opportunity to walk out of this class knowing a lot of Python and it the more effort you make for your first couple of programming languages anything else that follows is going to be easier. Next class is computer science 2 which is also a very heavy coding class but this time you're going to learn C++. For the first half of the semester you're gonna feel like this class is on acid just because of how fast they're gonna teach C++ to you. But that's fine because you have Python experience. You know how to write a while loop in Python, but now it's just about how to write the same thing in C++. And that's reflective of the real world because right now, whenever I wanna pick up a new programming language, syntax is the least of my worries. In my head, I know exactly what I want to do. It's just about how do I write it in this language so I don't run into a bunch of errors and bugs. Anyway, the point of this class is not the syntax, it's to teach you about pointers, objects, classes, something that's way more elevated than your previous class in terms of the tools that a programming language can offer you. Discrete structures. This is a pretty heavy theory class, and I actually took this class at East Bay. In my community college, we didn't have discrete structures, we had discrete maths. But once I got to this way, I got played so hard because the instructor, he decided to teach this class in a math heavy way. It might have as well been like a proofs class from the math department. And I was so pissed off in this class. I was like, what are we doing here? This is not CS. I'm not learning anything. But now in retrospect, I see that this is a pretty uh, foundational class for teaching you logic for the later on programming classes you're going to have. If I were to like summarize this class in a way that totally butchers the whole thing, it would be that Let's say you're going to a store to buy something and there's a discount, but you have to be a resident of San Francisco and you have to be exactly 18 years old. In that case, both of these need to be true about you for the whole thing to evaluate to true. But if we change the and to an or, then you could be 52 years old and a resident of San Francisco, you would still get the discount. That's a pretty bad summary, I'm sure, but 
What I'm talking about is the truth tables, computer organization and assembly language. I took this class in my community college, but from what I know, it's not that different at East Bay because you will learn this programming language called assembly, which is a pretty low level programming language. All that means is that you have to micromanage where your data lives. Like you have to be like, take it out of here and put it into here. And every line of code is like maximum three words. The way that I see this class is that they taught you Python and then they taught you C++. Now they're just trying to drag you to the depths of hell by teaching you assembly. I actually became so grateful that Python and C++ allow me to use variables, arrays, and for loops after this class. You know when people get to the last item on a list and they're like, last but not least? Yeah, I'm not gonna say that for this class. Computing and social responsibility? I don't know what this... So first of all, it's a GE class. So what that means is that anyone from whatever major can be in this class. It's like a semester long group discussion about very vague topics. Like, what do you think Snapchat should do with your data? Or like, damn, Google is a monopoly, what's up with that? Except you can't really go into details because your classmates are from like whatever major. I think the only thing I can say about this class is that this is gonna be your chill class that you can pair with your harder classes. Okay, that's it. Those are all the classes. Just a short 31 units list to get you started in computer science. But we're not done yet. There's 40 more units of classes to talk about. So I guess, I guess you have to subscribe now. I don't make the rules. You also have to smash the like button. Leave a comment if you've taken any of these classes, especially the social responsibility class. I'm really interested to know what your experience was like. If you haven't taken any of these classes, then leave a comment telling me your favorite color because I care about you. All my friends are hurting, but we dance it off, laughing dogs, cause it What, to promote not going to school? That'd be crazy.